Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you are joining us for the first time, please remember to subscribe and turn on the notification bell down below. So today I'm going to keep it simple. So I'm making omena in coconut cream and I got my omena from Rosina's fried omena. One thing I like, a couple of things that I like about Rosina's fried omena is that they don't have that bitter taste. They have an amazing aroma, they are crunchy and they are ready to eat. So, since I'm not going to use that stash, you just need onions. I'm using two because I like a lot of onions in my food. Two tomatoes. I use juice from half of this lemon, um, coconut cream from Royal Umbrella, nor beef cubes, salt to taste, and my sunflower oil. So let us prep and here we go. So everything is ready. I will, my pan is ready as well. So I'll go in with my oil. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can. Don't put a lot. I think that's about enough. So you wait for the oil to heat up and then you go in with the onions. So the onions are in. So we cook them until they are translucent or almost brown. And then we'll go in with the next item, which is the tomatoes. So after adding the tomatoes, you cook them to pulp or you cook them until they are very well cooked. So yeah, probably I should have used a bigger, a bigger pan, but this is just fine. It's all right. As you can see, our tomatoes are well cooked. I'll go in with the omena. About it and mix that all in like that. So next I'll go in with some water. Because Rosina's uh, fried omen, and they always have salt, so you can taste if it's okay or you'll need to add. I'll add mine. I'll add in some salt. Mix that again like that. Test for the salt. It's perfect. So next, um, adding in my nor. Uh, yeah, that one. Nor beef cube. Beef flavor. Okay, nor beef cube thingy thingy. So 
so I'll just add in one is enough like that Next is lemon. So I'm using just half, sorry. Half of that. Is that seed? So once you're done with that, pour in your coconut milk, coconut cream, sorry. So the amount of coconut cream you add in depends on your preference. So Look at how beautiful that is. So I let this cook until the all okay, at least about um, let's say eighty percent of this liquid evaporates, and the omena absorbs more of the coconut flavor. So once that is done, you mix that well. You close up your lid, not close, cover, yeah. Cover your mohesh, moheshimiwas, your moheshimiwas. So, um, the amount of coconut milk depends on your preference. I love mine with a lot of coconut cream, sorry. So, I will let this simmer for a few more minutes until the liquid has evaporated to about 80% and then we serve. So in the meantime, I will start prepping for the ugali. So as you can see the soup or liquid is still evaporating so I want it to evaporate a little bit more so that we are left with some thick soup for the ugali so that will continue to cook as I make my ugali so uh, some of the liquid from the water and the coconut has evaporated So you can you can continue to cook or you can serve like this So mine I'll let it cook a little bit longer So that I can have an almost or a semi dry fry kind of omena so whatever is left is concentrated cream coconut cream so my ugali is almost ready as well there go. and what would go amazing amazingly well with your ugali so as you can see my ugali is almost ready and all the liquid of a good quantity of the liquid from the coconut cream and the water that we had added has evaporated and this is what i am left with you can cook it further or you can serve like this so mine i'll let it cook a little bit longer i'll just give it about five minutes five minutes then i'll serve since my ugali is almost ready so I'll just give both of them five minutes so here we have it our omena cooked in coconut cream and ugali I hope you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up until next time bye